Okay, in this next demonstration, I'm going to be showing how to do the lap dovetail member. And if we look at this shape, even though it has some cutouts in the front, we still have to realize that it is 6 inches long by 2 inches tall by 3 inches wide. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to create a, a big rectangular box that is 6 by 3 by 2 inches tall. And then I'm going to start to work on the front here in a secondary sketch. So what here, I, I just completed uh, creating a new document, and I'm naming it Lap Dovetail Member. I'm going to hit OK. So now that I have my workspace ready, I need to start a new sketch. I'm going to select the top view. And now I'll use my view cube to look down on the top. And I'll create a rectangle starting in the origin. Click once to start, a second click to end, and remove my hands and type in the dimensions of 6, enter, 3, enter. Now I can look at the camera view in isometric. And I'm going to extrude this surface area at a distance of 2 inches. Hit the green check mark. Now I'm going to start my secondary sketch. Not on the front top or right, but I'm going to select the surface of the block itself. When it's lit up in yellow, I'm going to click on it, and I can see my secondary sketch. So now I'm going to look at the top, and I'm going to first of all start by making a rectangle on the right side and that rectangle is going to be two inches here by three inches here so that I have this rectangle here now the next thing I need to do is use the line tool to start a line from this point and I'm gonna make a line right down on this line at a distance of one inch Okay, now I'm going to hit the escape key on the keyboard to release myself from all the tools. I'm going to select the line tool once again, and I'm going to make another line from this point up on this line at a distance of one inch. Okay, so I've just made two lines that are one inch long. While I'm still connected to this point, I am going to extend it to this outside corner. And I'm going to click here. Now I'm going to make another line that goes from this point to this outside corner so that I have this, okay? Now I'm going to look at it, the camera in isometric view, and this is what I'm now looking at. I'm going to select the escape key to release myself from the tools. So first thing I want to do is I want to select this little triangular area and this little triangular area. And I want to extrude that, not adding, but removing all two inches of it. So I'm going to select two and hit enter. And you'll notice that that drops out. Okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to click the green check mark. And I'm going to go back to sketch number two. Double click on it to open it back up. Because I still have to lower this middle section. So I'm going to click on the middle section. Now that it's selected, I'm going to go to my extrude tool, and I'm going to extrude that and remove it for just one inch. When I click the green check mark, there's my lap dovetail member.